The New Biographical Dictionary of Film is a reference book written by film critic David Thompson, originally published by Martin Secker and Warburg Ltd. in 1975 under the title A Biographical Dictionary of Cinema. Organized by personality, it is an exhaustive inventory of those involved in international cinema, whether contemporary or historical, elite or esoteric. Beyond its scope, the tome is most notable for infusing subjectivity into its fact based form. The technique may best be described as a playful deconstruction of the reference book. It is currently available in its sixth edition, released in May 2014. The new biographical dictionary of film has garnered wide acclaim throughout the releases of its various editions. In a 2010 poll by the British Film Institute, it was voted the greatest of all books about film. Overview Fourth edition press notes from Random House For almost 30 years, David Thompson's biographical dictionary of film has been not merely the finest reference book ever written about movies. Graham Fuller, Interview, not merely the Desert Island Book of art critic David Sylvester, not merely a great, crazy masterpiece Jeff Dyer, The Guardian, but also fiendishly seductive. Gray Marcus, Rolling Stone, this new edition updates the older entries and adds 30 new ones, Darren Aronofsky, Emmanuel Bayard, Jerry Bruckheimer, Larry Clark, Jennifer Connolly, Chris Cooper, Sofia Coppola, Alfonso Cuerin, Richard Curtis, Sir Richard Eyre, Sir Michael Gambon, Christopher Guest, Alejandro González Anaritu, Spike Jones, Wong Kar Wai, Laura Linney, Toby Maguire, Michael Moore, Samantha Morton, Mike Myers, Christopher Nolan, Dennis Price, Adam Sandler, Kevin Smith, Kiefer Sutherland, Charlize Theron, Larry Wachowski and Andy Wachowski, Lou Wasserman, Naomi Watts, and Ray Winston. In all, the book includes more than 1,300 entries, some of them just a pungent paragraph, some of them several thousand words long. In addition to the new musts, Thompson has added key figures from film history lively anatomies of Graham Greene, Eddie Cantor, Pauline Kael, Abbott and Costello, Noel Coward, Hoagie Carmichael, Dorothy Gish, Rin Tin Tin, and more. Here is a great, rare book, one that encompasses the chaos of art, entertainment, money, vulgarity, and nonsense that we call the movies. Personal, opinionated, funny, daring, provocative, and passionate, it is the one book that every filmmaker and film buff must own. Time Out named it one of the ten best books of the 1990s. Gavin Lambert recognized it as a work of imagination in its own right, now better than ever a masterwork by the man playwright David Hare called the most stimulating and thoughtful film critic now writing. Although it looks very much like a dictionary or encyclopedia, each of the book's approximately 5,000 brief biographical sketches is highly subjective. A typical entry may begin with a birthplace and filmography but always concludes with something closer to criticism and memoir as the author examines his connection to the subject's career both academically and personally. Thompson's entry on Tom Cruise, for example, opens by considering the actor's age, recognizing that detractors see him as representative of all that is most immature in American cinema today. Thompson notes that Clark Gable was a rising star at 30. Now, in our collective recollection, Gable may seem older, worldlier, and more grown up than Cruise was at 30. But when did Gable ever risk playing the jerk to whom Cruise was totally committed in The Color of Money? When was Gable as uninhibitedly tender as Cruz managed in Risky Business? And could Gable have survived the black hole narcissism of Dustin Hoffman in Rain Man? The entry closes with the actor's late 90s comeback, calling his work in Magnolia, his most searching and self-critical performance, and abandoning objectivity altogether. So, after bad years, I remain hopeful, even if all the mission impossibles put a greater load on things that might be. Topic history The Martin Secker and Warburg Limited published first edition, the 600-page Biographical Dictionary of Cinema, was followed by Biographical Dictionary of Film, published by William Morrow & Co. in June, 1980. The third, entitled A Biographical Dictionary of Film, would be released on November 17, 1994, by André Deutsch Limited. 328 pages longer than the first edition, it added 200 new entries including Molly Ringwald. The 2004 edition was a major overhaul. 
Although the book's first edition contained 600 pages, the fourth was enlarged to 1,080 pages, updating older entries and adding 30 new personalities. The book's cover art was reworked and the word, New, was added to its title. 